Hey guys, happy Friday, and welcome back to another episode of Free Draw Friday. Today, we are going to be drawing Mary from the movie Mary and the Witch's Flower by Studio Ponok? Ponok? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but it was made by some of the same animators that worked at Studio Ghibli. So, I saw this film for the first time last weekend with my little sister who loves Studio Ghibli films, as do I. It was just as good as you would expect from the animators of films like Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle. Um, as usual, the colors were just so bright and the detail was insane. So for this illustration, I decided to pick two of the most obvious things from this film which was, of course, Mary and the Witch's Flower. I don't want to spoil anything from the plot, but the story itself, while it was really predictable, was also super, super good and enjoyable, um, which can probably lend itself to how awesome the characters were. And a similar feeling to how Studio Ghibli films go, the kids in these films feel like real kids. Like the expressions they have, their body language, the kind of things that they get angry or frustrated about, how selfish they can be sometimes, just make me feel like I'm watching a real kid. I work as an elementary art teacher and from my experience I have met so many kids that are just like Barry. I think the studio did really well portraying the attitude and, like I said, body language of a girl of Mary's age. I haven't read the book, The Little Broomstick, that the film was inspired by, but I thought that they did a really nice job with all the character designs and dialogue. Sketching Mary was really fun, and I used a lot of reference to try to get her look just right. She has this wonderful wild and red hair that was really fun to try to figure out in the film she hates her red hair but having dark black hair myself i always i've always been a fan of red hair maybe because my grandma had bright red hair I chose to do watercolors for this piece because I thought it would be the best way to represent how bright and beautiful all the coloring was in the film. For this I'm using the Koi watercolor palette. I got these a couple years ago for my husband as a gift. I know they don't always have the brightest colors, but I really enjoy using them. It's always been a difficult thing for me to keep a full color palette when I paint. I tend to always mix colors from the same spot or start over. I know it's probably a lot easier to set out all your color all organized, but I am so messy, especially with acrylic paint. When I use acrylic and try to do a color palette, I end up with just a complete mess. Luckily, between Mary's skin, the shadows, her hair, and the coat, I was able to keep everything around the same kind of color palette, so it turned out okay in the end. I recently started using this technique to paint and so far I really enjoy it. Uh, normally I draw and then ink and then paint and while sometimes it would work out it just kind of felt too similar to the way that I do comics. Plus sometimes depending on the ink I would of course smudge my work and that usually happens because <laughs> I get impatient and I want to start coloring. So. I've seen a couple artists start by drawing with red pencil first, 
And I tried this before and completely failed, probably because I had the wrong kind of red pencil. But this time I used some red lead that I had from my mechanical pencils. If you've seen the cover for my webcomic A Day at a Time, I did the same technique for that illustration as well. It's really fun to see the painting come to life at the end after you add all the line work to it. Speaking of my comic, if you want to see my comic, I have it up on Tapas, Webtoon, and Smack G's. It's a silly little comic series about everyday stuff that happens in my life. Stories about my dogs, and my husband, and video games, and things like that. Links for all that are, of course, in the description. I'll leave you guys alone for a little bit to listen to some music and watch some painting, and I will see you at the end of the video. Thinking is so relaxing for me. 
I think the only issue I had at this point was my hands were getting sweaty or maybe just the brush pen was too slick because I had to keep readjusting it in my hands because it would keep sliding forward. Super annoying, but I dealt with it. Hmm, I probably should have planned out the lettering a little better since it was going over the leaf. It looked okay in the sketch, but looked a lot weirder after I started inking it. I did my best to line it with white in places where it overlapped the leaf, so it's not too bad, but you know... Sealed and finished! Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had a lot of fun painting this piece and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you would like to see me draw something in particular, leave some ideas down below. See you guys next week and I hope that we can draw together again soon. <laughs>